Hello, ladies and mental gen. I'm Cathogenia, and today we're playing some more Spiral Knights. And I know this is a mission. That's all I know, though. I think we're doing Frost... Yep, I'm smart today. I am very, very smart. I just couldn't tell you guys that that's the mission we were doing, because, you know, I'm the only one who has telepathic commands. Sorry. Anyway... Video is still playing in slow motion as per usual. Sorry about that. Commentary is probably, commentary is probably going to be a tad off. Let's grab a Vitapod too. Aw, oh, dang it. Alright, now let's grab a Yeah, that should be good. Alright, let's head on in. The thing about the video playing in slow motion, it's probably not playing in slow motion for you guys. It's just that it is for me because you know I'm watching the video file on my on my uh, my netbook, so naturally it's slow as heck. Just until this summer, then I then I'll actually get to um then I'll actually get to get a what am I saying? Then I'll actually build a desktop computer. This world's Really pretty, actually. I've always liked the ice worlds in this game. For their music, snow particles, just in general. It's a pretty world. It sucks that there's monsters in it. Otherwise, I'd make a living down here. In fact, if you actually. Uh, sorry, I'm a little tired. Anyway, um. If, uh. If you, uh. If you were actually allowed to, you know, just stay down in the clockworks, I'd probably stay on like a tier 2, tier 3 ice school, or just stay there forever, because you know, it's beautiful. Plus I'd get a bit of a challenge, plenty of heat and, and plenty of crowns and heat fighting all the tier 3 monsters. Uh, as it is, um, the tier 3 monsters can almost one-shot me even at full health, so, um, <laughs> yeah, it's probably not a smart idea to reside down there yet, if I could, I mean, unfortunately I can't, but, fortunately, we're almost done with the bandicam footage, Soon we'll be moving on to the Fraps mission. Soon we'll be moving on to the missions I recorded with Fraps. Then I'll have jettisoned any and all footage I ever recorded with Bandicam from my computer onto the bloop tubes. Because, you know, it's better to entertain you guys with something crappy than to not entertain you guys at all, right? As long as you guys are, you know, laughing or being annoyed or as long as I'm I me mean, as long as I'm giving you guys some kind of happy emotion, I'm happy. I live for my viewers. I don't live to get views, but I live to entertain. That's why I make these videos. Because um in all honesty, I've kind of had a bit of a social disconnection thing throughout my life. And, uh, so, I figured maybe I could entertain some people with YouTube videos, because, you know, I've always been in uh, one or two groups that I did hang out with for, for a little while. I was kind of known as the, as the funny guy, the guy who could make someone laugh no matter what. And the thing is, I can make jokes on not quite anything, but I can make jokes that apply to several, you know, different, um, different humor styles, like, um, I can make perfectly good jokes without having them be sexual, or without having them, you know, swear or anything. Okay, seriously, dogs, seriously. Yeah, my, I'm sorry, by this point I'm probably lagging way behind, but, um, Hope you guys are enjoying it. Even if you guys aren't enjoying the commentary, you can always hit that mute button and uh, just watch. That way you'll still know, you know, what's, what's to come, in case you haven't played this mission before. 
I'll be honest with you, this game's pretty fun. Who barely got that? Uh, I'm sorry if I'm making you guys yawn, but it's like, I will be one of the most alive looking people you ever meet, and then when I sit down to add commentary to a video like this, I just start yawning like crazy, it's ridiculous, because I'm recording this commentary at like 5.13 in the afternoon, and I'm not giving away which time zone I'm in, because, you know, don't really want people figuring out where I live right now, but, yeah, it's 5.13, you know what, yeah, it's 5.13 Pacific Time in the U.S. right now, but I did, I never revealed, like, which state I live in. Actually, I'm messing with you guys, I'm way, I'm way over in Germany. It's like, it's tomorrow actually, 2.26, well February 26th, actually no, I'm in Colorado, but in all seriousness, the important thing to know here is that I'm playing games for you, to, for you people to enjoy. Who cares about what time zone I'm in anyway? Let's grab some parts. No, no, you're not getting me, Sandman. Nope. Yeah, man. Stifle the yawn. You know, those can really get annoying. Of course, I suppose that... Of course, I suppose the fact that I'm just sitting here in my little... Uh, in my little kind of table here. Little game table here with my MacBook resting on it. It isn't exactly helping me. No. Ah, uh, dang it, I yawned. You know... It's funny because back when I first started recording these missions, um, I, I like, I tried to do a little bit of typing commentary here and there as I recorded the mission because, you know, I figured I'll just be like Nussball and, um, and I just won't do commentary for my videos or anything. By the way, his link to his channel will probably be, like, in the description or something. He's known as like the best player in all of Spiral Knights. In the game, he's known as Magnus. He, uh, he's pretty darn good from what I've seen. It'd be nice if they brought back Super Battle, or, yeah, it'd be nice if they brought back Super Battle or Battle Royale or whatever that one free-for-all game was called. It'd be awesome. Shame they had to remove it. I mean, seriously. I would have played this game just to play that. Of course, naturally, I suck at PvP, but I would have played that. I would have joined this game just to play that. Oh, jungle stage. Hey, at least it's not cursed. At least it's not like with a bunch of cursed enemies, right? That would be the worst. Since, you know, I've only got two weapons. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm kind of different from your standard issue tier 3 player. I don't get a lot of extra computer. I mean, what am I saying? I don't get a lot of extra crystal energy. So, um, like, on occasion. Oh, no, gosh. Oh, gosh, dang it. Which, um, like, I won't have a lot of extra crystal energy stored up, mostly because I'm still using it to craft weapons and armor and such, but if I do happen to have some extra crystal energy lying around, there's no way I'm selling it. I already buy it off of other people. I'm not selling my, I'm not selling my hard-earned crystal energy. You know, normally if I have some extra crystal energy just laying around, then, um, then normally I'll just, like, blow it all on a weapon slot or something so I can use the Master Blast Bomb too. And, uh, one of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna get enough money to, um, to buy enough crystal energy to, you know, make the Leviathan Blade and the rest of the, the Zewer Guardian stuff. One day, you're just gonna see me report a mission, and I'm gonna have the Leviathan Blade, the Aegis, the Valiant, the Necronome, 
is your guardian helm, is your guardian armor. And yeah, I'll just be like super OP on tier 2 and stuff. Well, I wouldn't say super OP, but it's the, ba it's the basic standard issue stuff. And the basic standard issue stuff sucks. I'll, I'll admit it, it's not very good. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's great for, um, yeah, it's great for defending against anything, but when it comes down to it, you're really only going to be in tier 3 for the shadow layers, or for Vanaduke, and honestly, it's better to just have fire resistance stuff for Vanaduke, and, what's his name, the cursed Vanaduke guy, dark fire Vanaduke. And you're just gonna use anti-piercing and anti-poison stuff for the rabid snarbolaxes, stuff for the ice queen, and anti-elemental and anti-fire stuff for the uh, the uh, the uh, the the red warm twins. Yes, I got that right. You know, it's kind of funny actually, because I'm totally not talking about the gameplay here, but in my defense it's seriously lagging out, like half the, like half the screen here is loading and then the other half is just lagging behind on one frame. Not even one frame per second. Anyway, um, I believe the Romulus Twins boss from this game is actually a, is actually a reference to Roman mythology. Um, which is, in fact, the Romulus and Remus, the guys who supposedly founded Rome. Uh, so, some kind of family predicament happened, and uh, they were sent floating down a river. And some wolf came by, found them, nursed them back to health, and they were raised amongst the, you know, wolves. And uh, one day they found a hill, so they decided, hey, let's make a city on it, why not? But uh, Romulus and Remus quarreled over what to call it. Romulus, being a very proud man, wanted to name it Rome. I don't even remember what Remus wanted to name it. But, um, so the two brothers fought, and ultimately Romulus won because, you know, he's the older one, and the older one wins everything. And, uh, yeah, so they named, so Romulus named it Rome. Little bit of. Roman mythology on you. Bam. Tell that to your mom when you get home from school. But personally, I would have preferred to learn about ancient Greece. I mean, like, I had plenty of opportunities to, but like, I was so hell-bent on learning about computer programming and information technology and all that nerd nerdy stuff that I completely forgot to take a, to take a class or course on Greek mythology. So, yeah, kinda sucks, I missed out on all of it. Like, I know Poseidon, and Zeus, and Hades, and... What's his name? Vulcan, I think? And Athena, and all the stuff that, like... All the stories that you learn from the Percy Jackson series, at least the main one. But, uh, I haven't actually studied up on any of it. <laughs> it's so funny, because I'm slaughtering a bunch of Frost Wolf wolf things while I'm talking about Greek mythology. Oh no, not a heel butterfly. Great. Ah, you're dead. Thank goodness. You know what, I'm not... Pardon me, but I'm not gonna bother trying to block it anymore. That was weird. As I said, I'm not getting bothered trying to block it anymore. Like, the audio glitch out there is just stuck on this one note of the music or something. And, uh, yeah, I guess my video is lagging out pretty badly here. But, I don't think we have long to go on this mission, so let's hope my computer doesn't crash on me at the last second. Hasn't before. Let's get rid of this. I want the curse one. It lagged past me throwing the freeze vial there. So, yeah. Great equipment I'm using. Totally eligible to be, you know, 
a full on 100 million subscriber hotshot. <laughs> oh, not the slightest. I hope you guys are picking up on my sarcasm, because in all honesty, I've been dropping it in a little here and there throughout the video. And I want the dark matter, because I love dark matter. I, in all honesty, my favorite color is blue, but I don't like the kind of blue that there is that's the moonstone in this game. That, which is why I like dark matter so much. Because, you know, purple isn't exactly my favorite color either, but I like the darker colors. And both Veilstone and Moonstone are bright crystals, not dark. So, yeah. Okay, I need to stop using, so yeah, that gets annoying real fast. Anyway, uh, there's the mission for you. Two floors, nothing but ice enemies the whole way. And we're not going to get a whole lot of loot here in the form of crowns. Plenty of, uh... Oh, hey, I got a primal spark. Didn't even see that I was lagging so bad. Well, uh, that's that mission completed. Normally by now you shouldn't be at Defender because, you know, I'm just super OP and, like, total hacker and stuff. Just kidding. But, um, seriously, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Cathavinia, signing off for today. See you guys in the next video.